What's up guys, Seb here in Santa Monica. I'm gonna talk to you more about influencer marketing. I'm gonna talk about influencer marketing all the time, specifically micro-influencer marketing. When you scale micro-influencer marketing, you get a major bonus outside of the awareness that you gain. That's content. Here's what I mean by that. For example, this is one of my clients, Taylor Pass Honey. This is an awesome honey brand from New Zealand. Beautiful packaging, lends itself great for micro-influencers to create content, whether they're boomeranging when, you're, when they're opening it, whether they're showing you specifically each product and they are creating different types of recipes on foods, on smoothies, whatever that may be. They're getting to be creative with their own content uh, strategy or style, right? So here's the deal. You get a scaled micro-influencer marketing campaign, like I said, scaled. So you get it out to 100, 200, 300 micro-influencers. Not only are you gonna get that awareness from them talking about your product, you're gonna get epic content that you get to reuse and repurpose. I know and you know photo shoots and video shoots are expensive and they're hard to carry out. They're necessary. You better have them when you're launching your products. You better have them on an ongoing basis. But think about two, 300 micro-influencers shooting content for you. Think about that as 200 to 300 micro-shoots that your brand gets for a much cheaper price than actually doing shoots with all those different models. So that's why I highly believe that scaling micro-influencer marketing campaigns is the way to go. It's a lot of work, it takes a lot of management, but it's highly, highly effective. If you need help with your micro-influencer marketing campaigns and scaling them, please feel free to hit me up on that. Till next time, guys. Peace.